Well, I'm at Showcase, and uh, it's Thursday morning. We got here Wednesday. Um, we we're expecting to uh, find our stand, uh, and what we actually found was this. which as you can imagine was a bit of a surprise because we've come geared up for a stand with the stand decorations and uh, so Tony Reed to give him his due was really good and he sorted this out with a stand that somebody else didn't turn up for so uh, I'll show you the new stand that we've got in a minute but um, it was a, a bit of a real uh, hasty reorganization has been re required as most of what, I mean this is a meeting area, basically this is an airport lounge. Uh, it's, a, it's a meeting area, not a stand. And it's great for those associations who do a lot of meetings and just use the association, we use the showcase just to meet people. But we, we don't, we like to engage with the delegates, we like to give away private fees guys, we like to give away free magazines. So um, for us, uh, an airport lounge, unfortunately, was not uh, was not what we need. So, but anyway, as I say, Tony Reed's been very good and sorted everything out. So, uh, I'll show you what we've got instead, or as well. I'm in the Ibis Hotel near Birmingham Airport, and uh, I'm staying here while we are at the BDTA Dental Showcase, soon to become BDIA because they've changed their name to the British Dental Industries Association. Um, it's Saturday morning. It's uh, about eight o'clock, I suppose. Um, the Ibis is, is uh, quite a good place to stay if you don't have a car, um, because transport links are good. Uh, there's a shuttle bus here from the, um, from the Birmingham station to the airport, and it's, it's an easy walk from the airport terminal to the, to the Ibis. Um, and uh, FMC are staying here, so uh, it's, it's sort of a indirectly it's a, it's a sh exhibition um, hotel. But the problem is obviously if you have a car, because um, what do you do with a car uh, at an airport? You know, <laughs> stick it in the airport car park, twenty-seven pound a day. So the trouble with all this knowledge is uh, I'm going to need it in two years time when we come back here again but by then I'll have completely forgotten it so I could record this audio and video and store it for two years and then turn it into a podcast uh, in advance of the next time we're at the NEC but I probably won't I'll just record it now and hope that I've got the wisdom in two years time to look at it so that I can then tell myself what I need to do so Ibis with no car with a car, Crown Plaza probably. Anyway, um, I'm right, right by the airport, right. But I can see the end of the runway, so we can see the planes taxiing in, which is great. I love that. All that. It's good, you know, it's got something to watch. Not that we've had much time to watch. Obviously, the showcase has been going on from ten to six or ten to five. We've had two days of it. It's uh, the third day today. I'm in surprisingly good shape. Um, three days at an exhibition usually kills me. Uh, it's um, I don't like standing up. Um, and uh, you can't really sit down on a stand. It doesn't look good if you go around and everyone's just sort of sitting around and you think, well. So we, we, we but it's been a, a good show. Uh, Thursday, as usual, is quiet because dentists and their teams don't tend to, tend to take a Thursday off to come. They tend to either take the Friday off or they tend to come on the Saturday, which is today. So we're looking forward to a busy show. Personally, I think the show's looking very good this year I think uh, in terms of stands uh, stand design products well I haven't noticed anything new at all to be honest I mean it's all chairs and uh, you know materials which is which is a shame there's not much in the way of sort of financial services and uh, companies trying to sell you investments in gold bullion or forests that tends to be more the dentistry show uh, in the spring um, this is, uh, I would say this is more of a sort of a equipment show. Um, so if you are wanting to buy a chair or surgery or something, you can come along and prod it. The showcase tends to be better for people providing goods rather than services. Obviously DFO is a service. Um, if you're buying a chair, you want to go and see it and perhaps try and negotiate a deal with someone face to face. 
uh, with a service provider, then you can't really prod a service at uh, a show. Um, you can ask what what the service is, but in many ways, actually, the best way to find out what the service is, is to go to a website rather than because I mean we provide you know dozens of benefits and you can't stand there and list them. I can't. I don't even know them all. In fact, if people say to me, "What do you do?" I say, "Look." Then, rather than ask me, best thing to do is go and I can tell them overall what we do support and represent professionals in primary dental care. And our our mission statement is to be the best association uh, and to make a profit and have fun. That's it. Literally, that is our mission statement. Um, but uh, if they were to say to me, "What you know? What do I get?" Which is typically uh, the sort of answer you get from someone actually who's not not got any intention of joining. Um, then the best thing to do is just say, well, well, the best thing to do is say, well, are you, you know, what are you? Are you a principal? Are you an associate? Are you a dental nurse, technician, whatever? And then, and then, uh, if they want like a real detailed this, uh, refer them to the website. So, um, I've sort of uh, managed to preserve my sanity by going to bed early. Uh, so, I have missed out, I must say, on all the debauchery and the charitable. Uh, um, drinking that goes on. We went out uh, on uh, Friday evening uh, for a meal with uh, this guy called uh, Mustafa uh, who runs Genix, lovely guy, very very nice guy and uh, had a lovely evening out uh, and with Richard Lishman from the the, uh, MD of the Money for Dentist group, of the the Ford Dentist group. The reason I'm looking out the window is because I'm right at the end of the runway so I'm just looking to see if any planes are landing. Uh, but they haven't. They've had a Ryanair uh, uh, arrival, but they fly everywhere here. Unfortunately, they don't fly back to uh, Kent, which is uh, where I'd like to go. But um, there, we've handed out a few magazines. It's been pretty good. We've made contact with um, some members, which is nice. Always nice if you're a member to come along, drop in. We've we resolved the problem initially of um, being allocated an airport departure lounge for a stand. <laughs> <laughs> We uh, uh, we we were we were given a meeting area. I think personally that they needed a meeting area, and they had to put the associations in stands, and they didn't have the space to do both. And so I think they thought, how can we double up a meeting area and an association, an association stands, and so. In the agreement with the associations, it says that they, you know, part of what they provide for us is tables and chairs and lighting. And they, and someone, two of them at a meeting <laughs> must have looked at each other and said, well, meeting area's got tables and chairs and it's light, it's lit. <laughs> Let's tell them it's their stand. <laughs> so there was a lot of... Um, drop jaws I think when people turned up and oh and it's been so funny I mean it's, re- it's really there's a bun fight over there over the chairs and the tables because e- even though we asked Tony, Tony Reid has been absolutely brilliant, I said to Tony look we need we hand out um, another Ryanair departure I said we hand out uh, brochures and we hand out uh, you know and we like to talk to the people as they're walking past and we can't do that in a, in a, um, a cafeteria you know <laughs> And um, so straight away, he got us a stand. The uh, people who, um, they're always at the exhibition, some people who don't turn up. So he, he showed us two or three stands and helped us decide which was the best one. We got one opposite Oral B, not bad at all, that had just been vacated. And um, uh, then we moved in and then he, he found the tables and chairs associated with the stand and then we said well we need a literature rack and then uh, 10 minutes later a literature rack turns up and Tony is absolutely brilliant I can't praise him highly enough he is he is the epitome of service um, and, and sort of satisfaction of the customers needs and demands he is very like the American model where in America if you're if you're the slightest bit unhappy, you don't mind saying if you're unhappy because the the other person will then say, look, okay, whatever it takes to make you happy, we'll do it. We don't care. If this this is something that we normally charge for. We will do it. If it, you know, we will do it because we want you to be happy. We don't want you to you know, and nothing is too much, uh, and that's what differentiates the service um, 
sector in America from the UK. In the UK, everything is too much. <laughs> but not for Tony. <coughs> he's um, he sorted us out brilliantly. Made us very happy. We're very happy now. The other people in the other stands are, more, are very happy because they've got more space. And uh, but they are um, they they are having problems over there setting up because all they've got are these tiny little round coffee tables and of course they've brought lots and lots of um, gadgets and gizmos and displays and things which um, they're all they're all pushing the tables together and trying to set things up you know and oh, it's it's a nightmare I'm very pleased I'm not over there not because I don't like them they're all lovely people uh, it's just because it, it is it is just too much of uh, there's too much competition for supply is the correct way to put it in that area you know but there's no there's no defined there's no defined there's no boundaries and so uh, it's it's uh, you need sharp elbows to do well over there and if what they do is meetings then that's fine then it's a, it's a meeting area so if their members if they've got meetings set up or their members want to come over and say hello and they want to sit down and have a coffee then that's fine but uh, we we do like to see the members, but we also like to see the non-members as well. You know, and have a chat and ask them how they're doing and where they're practicing and how things are going. And uh, we pick up a tremendous amount of useful information, intelligence at the show about the um, state of the market. So I'll wind it up now. Uh, as I say, Saturday I uh, we, we've got I think from ten to five today, and then there's the usual scrum to clear up and. Uh, drive back to Kent. A lot of the firms actually do stay on and uh, stay overnight Saturday night as well and they treat it as a sort of a team bonding exercise and uh, um, they uh, take all the stuff out for a meal and stuff like that you know well um, to be honest with you after three days we've had enough I mean we, we come here Wednesday evening uh, we would possibly have a drink Wednesday evening, Thursday evening uh, there is a drink for all the exhibitors um, and um, um, Friday evening um, we tend to try and uh, well I was I stayed in played chess <laughs> doing some sort of exciting my life is <laughs> but there was a big charity ball but to be honest you know, if you've done one big charity ball you've done them all so uh, but I hope it went well if you went there and, and uh, I hope you had a good time you know um, um, but have my time of life take it a bit more quiet so okay so um, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll I'll uh, try and uh, let you know how it all went when we're, we're packing up and we're on our way back but uh, otherwise uh, I'm a pretty good exhibition and kudos to Tony and the BDTA stroke BDIA for organising it I still think it's a lovely exhibition to come to I really I do enjoy coming to this exhibition it's um, you know there is a bit of a faff involved, uh, but once you've done it a few times, it, it can be really, it's almost like a three day holiday. It's the standing up. If we didn't have to, it's like a three day holiday standing up. That's how I would summarize it. Okay, I'll um, talk to you later then.